Okay, we're going to take a little shortcut, fellas. Make a left onto the dirt road right before the next stoplight. We'll lose them if we get off this street free, Rux said. No, we won't. I still got eyes on them. Then you'll lose us, Rux countered. Not for long. Free was as calm as he always was, even with his good friends chasing down three heavily armed men. What's the name of the road, Free? Green asked. Free could see the detective through his cabin dashboard cameras. He masterfully handled the powerful F-350 while Free navigated him through the sticks of Gainesville from the station. Free's hands moved over his keyboard so fast he no longer thought about it, only the results. He had multiple maps up on the screen to his left. Hmm, it doesn't appear to have a name. Every road has a name, Free, Tech argued. Free saw his best friend's scowl as he was jostled around in the back seat of Green's truck. He zoomed in closer on the grainy satellite image. No street marker. Hmm. Well, this one doesn't. Turn, now! Shit, Green cursed. The sound of squealing tires reached Free's ears. Um, I don't think this is an actual road, Free, Tech said. We're in the goddamned woods, Free! Green yelled. He flinched when he checked the monitor displaying Green's forward camera. Branches and brush flew up in all directions, hitting the truck's windshield. This is killing my truck, Green rumbled. You're gonna pay Furious to fix all these dents, Freeman. This isn't even a road, Steele grunted. It's probably called Last Minutes of Your Life Trail. Keep going, Sin commanded calmly. The team's sergeant stood behind Free while he worked, only chiming in when he absolutely needed to. He knew how to let Free do his job. The vehicle is still in my sight. Suspects are turning left on East Hall. Another 75 meters and you're there, Free said confidently, still watching the monitor displaying the satellite image of P. Davidson Road. Roger that, Green gritted out through the radio. Free never took his eyes off the screens. Over thirty years he'd been engrossed in computer technology, he'd gotten used to simultaneously operating multiple devices and systems. It appeared difficult to outsiders, but hacking through satellites and databases was second nature to him. He was just happy to be doing it for the good guys now. The door to their office swung open, but Free didn't turn to see who it was. Instead, he focused on the job. Four of Atlanta's finest were in the field, in harm's way, and relying on him— so they had his complete attention. He'd been working with the amazing group of detectives for the past two months, and as of yet, he'd never let the team down. They all made one pretty impressive unit that the mayor couldn't have been more pleased with. Hart's team is finished with their assignment. They're finally on their way home. God's voice reached him from the other side of the large office. 